Okay, so last time in part one of the introduction to EduPen, I showed you some of the tools for writing, um, saving your documents, exporting, that kind of stuff. And so now what I'm going to do is show you how to import uh, files like images, uh, videos, or make uh, interesting backgrounds. So first, again, I just start EduPen. So double click on the icon on the desktop, and it opens up. Um, the bar at the bottom shows up. I'll start with a new white page here. So there's EduPen. And again, I showed you these tabs last time to move the bar around the screen. I like to have it at the bottom. Um, but if you look here on this side, left or the right, you'll see an extra tab. And if you click on this tab, it will open up a sum folder here. And you'll see three bars at the top. And what these are are drop down menus. And so the first one is the page list. So if I click this gray one, page list, you can see page one shows up. So that's this page here. So if I make more pages, new pages, you can see them being added to the page list there. So I'll make another black one, blue, green, white. So you can see them all being added here on the side. And so depending on which page I'm on, you'll see a garbage can. So I'll make another new page and I'll draw a line. And I can, you know, I can use these to navigate between pages instead of using these arrows and going back one page at a time. I can click up here and go to page one, page four, page two, page six. And again, this garbage can is to delete the page. So if I click on that, the page disappears, it's deleted. So that's page list. Um, so again, we talked about how to make a new page last time by clicking the new page button and the color options here. But color can be a little boring, maybe you want to do something more interesting with your pages. So I'll go to the next drop down menu, the pink one, and it's called background. So if I click on this, you'll see a bunch of images load here. And I can use two fingers to scroll through the list. Um, and you see there's a bunch of different options here. So these are all backgrounds. And what they are is actually JPEG files, and they're enlarged to fit the size of the screen. So for example, I have a football pitch here. So if I click on that, my background becomes a football pitch. And if I go back to the page list, you can see it appear here. And if I click the new page button again, the next page will match this. So it will be a football pitch again. And you can see now I have three similar pages show up here. So you might be wondering, where do these pages come from? And can I make my own backgrounds? Well, the answer is yes. So if I exit EduPen and go back to the desktop, I'm on the desktop now, I'll hide this as well. Um, if I go to my start menu and go to my documents, when you install EduPen, it will create an EduPen Pro folder in my documents. So if I open that folder, you can see I have capture and documents, library, record, and a temporary folder. Um, so capture is where if I make a screen capture in EduPen, the file will be saved in that folder. Documents, if I save my EduPen uh, Pro file, it will be stored there. Library, if I click there, that's where these background files are found. So if I click into library, I have two folders here, background and content. So background is where all those images are. So if I go, you can see the icons here. All those images are saved there. So, if you want your own background, just copy and paste or save an image into this folder and it will be available to you in EduPen. So, all you have to do is put the files here and you can use them in EduPen as your background. Um, if I bring them in now, they won't show up in EduPen. I'd have to close EduPen and restart the program. Then they would appear. So, um, we'll go back into EduPen. So, you can see I have so many options here that come with EduPen. I have a soccer pitch, um, you could do musical notes if you're in a music class, something like that. 
uh, lined paper, if you want to practice writing and showing students how to write correctly uh, above and below the lines. Um, other things, you know, maybe you want to do a geography exercise or you're working on time. All these things are possible um, using pictures as backgrounds. The next thing is, so I'll close backgrounds. The next uh, drop down menu you see is the green line here. It's media contents. So I will make a new page. And media contents is everything. The first group is images. You can see import documents, import images, import movies, add text clips. Um, so you can import all these kinds of files through this menu. So images are already loaded. So if we go back to the desktop, my documents, we went into the library and we went into the background folder. Now these are the background images. If I go back to the library, we can see there is a content folder. So this is where all the images here are saved. So I'll go to content and you can see I have education, engineering, and general. And those folders are the same here. So I'll go into education. So I have options, board, English, figure, geography, Japan, Korea, mathematics. And if I click here, it's the same folders. So um, let's say figure. So all these shapes are here. So I'm going to go into figure in EduPen. Now they've all shown up here, you can see. So I can scroll through. I'm going to go back into EduPen and I want to bring in a. How about an airplane? Let's bring in a blue airplane. So if I touch the image here, you can see a symbol, a plus symbol shows up. So if I just press the plus symbol, it's brought onto the page. And you know, now I can interact with it. It's on the back. I still have my pen tool selected. So if I want to choose the image, I can press the selection tool and click, just click on the image. And then I can drag it around the screen, or I can use two fingers. I can enlarge or shrink the image. I can rotate it. So I can do all that with two fingers, or I can move it. Alternatively, I can use these orange circles around the corners to enlarge or shrink, and I can use this top one in the center to rotate. Okay, so you can do that with any image. So again, just go to the folder here, um, you know, whatever it's saved at, or whatever it's saved as in my documents, that's how it will appear here. Let's go to science, let's go to biology, for example, the human body, okay, human body, let's learn about the intestines. So here I have my intestines. I can move, oh, I can select the picture, I can move it, large, shrink. Now, you might also see on the bottom right hand corner of an image, a symbol, a gray gear, it's a gear. So if I am not selecting the picture, maybe you can see it better there, or on your own screen, if I press that, there are two options. This hand might look familiar. It's the same as the selection tool here. So if I press that, it's selected again. If I have it unselected, I can't move the picture. And the second option here is a trash can, and that is to delete the picture. So again, press the gear, and these options will show up, selection or delete. So I'm going to delete this picture. Now, the other options you have here, after the pictures, the first one is import document. So this is a Microsoft document. And what I can do is choose between Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, those kinds of file types. So here we have, you know, we have all those. I'm going to look for PowerPoint files. So I'll look on my desktop. And I have a company profile here saved. So I will open it. And you can see a document converter will open up in the corner. So it's converting it into an EduPen Pro format. 
And so I opened a PowerPoint. So each page in my PowerPoint will open as an individual page in EduPen. Individual slide, I guess. So if I go back to the page list, you can see all those pages have been added here. So I can go through them one at a time using the arrows. And if I want, um, I could, you know, I could interact with it. I can make some marks on this. Maybe I'll bring up my highlighter tool. I want to talk about AHA. We'll talk about the overview of the company. So I can do that kind of stuff. Save this file with any uh, drawings or markups I make. Uh, email it to my coworkers, that kind of thing. So that is importing a file. Uh, if I go back to media contents, the next one is to import an image. So it's the same idea, but I'm importing an image. Kind of the same as we did over here. So if you have an image file that's not in your My Documents folder, in the EduPen folder, you would want to do that. You would want to import an image, bring it from elsewhere. Um, the other is import movie. So I'll make a new page and I'll import a movie. So EduPen is compatible with two formats, Windows Media Files and AVI Files. So I have a folder here. I'll select all formats. I have a folder here, videos, Oops. Uh, coral reef, watch coral reef video. And it's kind of like the image I showed you before, right? I can't, I can't do anything with it now. I'm just drawing on the screen. I have my pen tool selected. But I can use my selection tool and click on the video to move it, or enlarge it, or shrink it, or rotate the video anything, or I can also click on that gear icon that shows up in the bottom right hand corner again. So if I click on that, you'll see some more options. The first one is the same, it's the hand, the selection tool, so I press that, I can move the video again. The second one is the garbage can to delete the video, and the other ones are playback options. So you know, we have uh, move to the end of the video, move to the beginning, Fast forward, rewind, play, pause. So I can, I can you know, manage all these. So if I want to hide these options again, just click on the gear and I can interact with the screen. So there's a scuba diver. I want to go back and keep playing the movie. So I can move it again. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Pretty basic, simple tools. Really easy to use once you know what you're doing. Again, the background and the images in these subfolders here can all be found in My Documents. So, in your EduPen, when you load EduPen, it will create an EduPen folder, and that's where you can upload these documents here, or upload these files. And remember, whatever you name them as, the folders or the files, in in the EduPen folder, that's how they will appear in the side here. So, that's pretty much all you need to know about EduPen. Um, if you have any more questions, you can consult your manual or your local AHA representative. That's it for me. If you need more information, you can also check out our website, www.ahatouch.com. Thank you.